Hi everyone and welcome back to another video with Game Dev Journey. Today I'm comparing how easy it is to implement a simple button click function in Godot versus Unity. At the end of the video please comment on which engine you think it's easier to use and please remember to like my video if you enjoy my content and consider subscribing if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. In Godot there are a few simple steps to do this. First, create a node, then import a sprite. Notice that the sprite has a visibility property on and off. Now, create a button. Add your text. Position it, create a script, let's rename this player. Let's create a function to toggle the visibility. If the Sprite, whose name is Icon, um, is visible, then we will set Icon dot visible to full. Uh, let's actually use show and hide. Icon dot hide. Else. script is ready, save it, and save the scene. Let's head back and connect the button. We'll find the button's pressed method and connect it to our script. So when the button is pressed, all we have to do is toggle. test it. Select our main scene. And let's just see. Oh, didn't indent for some reason. Okay. Stop running. Save. Run. Click, click, click. Simple as that in Gado. Those steps again. Create a node, import a sprite, create a button, create a script, and connect the button. Right, let's head on over to Unity and see how we go along there. Here we have Unity, and let's follow the same steps. Let's import the sprite. Set up our game. See, there's our sprite. Notice that a Unity sprite is um, a sprite renderer. So this is something that a game object which renders the sprite, and you can enable and uh, you can disable and enable it. So there's no specific visibility or visible property. It's just that the sprite renderer is enabled or disabled. All right, now let's create a button. So we'll right click and go to the user interface and we'll choose button. And there we see the button in our game. And we want to drag it. Okay, let's just zoom out in our design view so we can see what we're doing. Let's drag it there. Okay. Now let's uh, change the text to click me and uh, create a script. 
So let's right click, create a new C sharp script. We're gonna connect this to the sprite. So the sprite's name is icon, so we'll call this icon. Now um, let's go into the script and create our toggle method. Okay, so there we go. Let's create a public or a toggle method. And what we'll now need is uh, an, an, a variable to represent the sprite renderer. So let's go sprite renderer, let's call it sr equals game object dot get component sprite ren sprite renderer. Okay, and what we'll do is if the sprite renderer is currently enabled, then we will disable it. Otherwise, we will enable it. Okay, save that. Back to Unity. And test. Uh, no, before we test, we will need to link the script to the sprite. So we'll find our icon over here and we'll drag our script onto it. We can now see that it is linked. And then we need to link the button to the script. So we'll click on the button. We'll find its on click method. We'll add an object. So we'll go and grab our sprite, drop it on. Find our toggle function so that when you click this button it runs the toggle function which is found in the icon script of the sprite now we can test it click and there we go right so the steps in unity were import the sprite create the button create the script link the script to the sprite and link the button to the script. So, comment down below, let me know which engine you think is easier to use, and like my content if you enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more from me. Thanks everyone, see you again next time.